he really is flying high. <laughs> Irritating? Annoying? Well, maybe not because Alex the honking cockatiel got some local As birds here offering, offering a bit of competition. <laughs> he has made enough money through his YouTube channel to pay his vet bills, buy toys <laughs> and even cover a family holiday to <gasps> Europe. <laughs> are going mental. We are delighted to say that Alex, his owner Annika and his brother Dominic joined us now from Brisbane where we're putting up some stiff competition for you here in Melbourne. Annika, how did this all come about? Um, I'm still not sure. It all just kind of happened by accident where um, I uploaded one video of Alex to YouTube and no one even noticed it for a year. It just sat there and then something changed in an algorithm somewhere in YouTube and it just blew up. People just started commenting on it and reacting to it and sharing it and asking for more. So I kept making more videos and it just kept growing. And how did he develop this skill specifically of honking? Did you train it? Did you try and bring that out in, in Alex? Um, that was another accident where when I got him as a baby over 20 years ago, he was still squeaking and bobbing his head wanting to be fed. So I would squeak and bob back at him just to mimic him. And eventually he started to mimic me, mimicking him. And we just sort of bounced off each other over the years until it just got more and more ridiculous and more exaggerated into this, this funny little honk noise. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I believe that's Alex's son, Dominic, that you've got there with you as well. Yes. Is he a honker? <laughs> yeah. He knows how to honk. He's perfectly capable of honking, Can but he chooses us? not to honk. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, he's quite spiteful like that, but oh. he has fans as well. People are fans of Dominic. Hashtag yeah. Team Dominic. And what's Dominic's party trick? Um, he does a thing called the Screm song where he just sings really loudly and it hurts your ears and he absolutely refuses to stop for ages. <laughs> it is quite bizarre that both of these guys are taking off as they are. Where is the biggest audience? Who loves Alex and Dominic and where are they from? Um, his biggest audience is definitely the US and he also has quite a following in Brazil. But I get comments from all around the world. I had a comment just yesterday. Someone was sad that they can't watch this live because they live in Mongolia. Wow. So it's just, it's honk is a universal language. It's just bringing the whole world together. Uh, how's he handling the fame, Annika? Is it going to his yeah. head? Is he blowing his own trumpet? It happens. Well, I mean, yeah, he is expecting some pretty high quality seed now. But apart from that, he's just sort of, he's just taking it one honk at a time. Uh, and I love the way that you do value add this, you know, you, you kind of have him honking at his toys that he's able to afford through his honking and also, you know, having all of the, yes. the themes. You've got the Harry Potter honking theme that I've seen as well. You're sort yeah. of adding more to it than just the honk. <laughs> it's quite the repertoire. Yeah, the, the videos are just getting more and more elaborate, sort of the more I learn how to edit and just getting more and more carried away. So can we have a bit of a bit of a look at it this morning live? Can you get him to honk on cue or is it just, you I'll, know, is he I'll too much of a diva? I'll see if I can... I've, I've got on one of his toys here ready, hoping we can get some honks out of him. <laughs> oh, it's more of a song, really. Oh, there we go. Hey! <laughs> Oh. <laughs> hey Annika, how does it all go down with your neighbours? Um, oh, oh, we've got some scram song oh, happening here. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, now we'll never make him stop. Stop. <laughs> Are you on good terms with the neighbours? <laughs> um, yeah, well, I haven't had any complaints yet, so <laughs> just kind of hope, hope that it's okay. Yeah, I can yeah. maybe pay them off with some good seed. 
Yeah. <laughs> well, well done you, and you know, channeling the skills that uh, that you've given from your pets. Why not do it? I say. Put them to work. Yeah, Deb. Exactly. I mean, it's getting them a holiday to Europe. Make them pay their way. <laughs> Good on you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Annika. They're fun. Well, there you go. I don't know if I'd be happy if I was a neighbour. <laughs> I'm, I'm predicting they don't have a cat. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Okay.